What is your house like? We all know that your home is your kingdom, and houses come in all shapes and sizes, but some houses take that to the extreme. Wait until you see number one. But before we get on to that, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a lot and lets us know that we are helping to enrich lives out there. And now, without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Number 13. The Egg-Shaped House, Beijing, China So we can all agree that a standard house looks like a square box with a slanted roof, right? Well, the designers of the Egg House in Beijing, China clearly disagreed with that notion and decided to challenge that. This unusual home was designed and built by Dai Haifei and is fully solar-powered. The unique home was Dai's response and form of protest to China's rising real estate prices. He went out on the sidewalk and made his egg-shaped home. It may not be as spacious or luxurious as some other homes on this list, but Dai has proven that having a roof over your head can take many forms. With the unique design, it sure keeps the rain off his head and does still afford him a decent enough room to relax and read his books. What an egg-extraordinary way to protest from home. Number 12. St. Moritz Resort House, Switzerland The next home on our list provides many different comforts and surprises along the way. Worth $185 million as of its last purchase, the St. Moritz Resort Home shows off the lifestyle of the rich the minute you walk in the door. With fur-covered walls and a breakfast nook in the shape of an egg, the home gives comfort to even the toes on your feet with fur carpets in each bedroom. There are hidden rooms with fireplaces lined in velvet, and a private ski-in and ski-out to a ski lift on the mountain. Owners don't even need to trek out for a day spa, as there is a private pool, sauna, and Himalayan salt room to relax. What a place to relax and enjoy the sight of snow. Number 11. Clock Tower House, Brooklyn, New York As you can see, Clock Tower House is made from an old clock tower that was built in 1913. This living space is as unique as the city it calls home. For just $15 million, this 6,813-square-foot, three-bedroom home boasts views of the entire city, with ceiling heights ranging from 16 feet up to 50. It is equipped with smart home technology, not to mention a host of other features that one would expect to find in a home as grand as this. The oversized windows provide tons of natural light to the dwelling. All that being said, it's easy to see why this is one of the most expensive houses ever sold in the whole Brooklyn borough in New York. It was first listed at $25 million back in 2010. This is definitely a home for someone obsessed with time, or possibly someone who dreams of being a superhero. Number 10. One Hyde Park Penthouse, United Kingdom Looking for an apartment in London? If you're looking for something in the Hyde Park area, you'll want to be sure you have at least $227 million, which is what one apartment went for recently. The area is one of the most expensive to live in, and has often seen Arab sheikhs around as neighbors. For those who can afford it, they will get to enjoy a two-story penthouse with a swimming pool and wide floor-to-ceiling windows. A neat little secret that the penthouse holds is that there is a tunnel that connects with the Mandarin Oriental Hotel, and the owner can enjoy a bite in their restaurant. However, if you think this is big, wait until you see number one. Number nine, the Carrot House, Warsaw, Poland. The Carrot House was created by Jacob Szczesny, a Polish architect who claims it as the world's narrowest house. Built in 2012, the house is just slightly under 5 feet wide at its widest point. But don't let that fool you. This house is narrow, but because of that, it has also been designed to make full use of the space within. The furniture had to be perfectly customized and pushed to fit into this space. The home consists of two floors, a kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, and living area. You won't find a staircase in this small space to get from one level to the next. Living here would make you very comfortable climbing ladders. It was designed for one single inhabitant and for someone who likes to work and stay at home. The construction of the house was supported by the Warsaw Town Council, who classified it as an art installation. Number 8. Kensington Palace, United Kingdom This is a home we know from the headlines, since it comes to the royal family. Kensington Palace comes in on our list at $230 million. The family line has been living there since the 17th century, and it has been the official home of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, as well as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. A notable time in history when the house was used for things other than a home was that during World War I, King George V allowed several rooms to be used for those working for Irish POWs and Irish soldiers on the front line. Another notable event, the building was damaged during the Blitz in World War II, 
leaving damage to the state apartments, including the Queen's apartments. Don't forget when a sea of flowers reaching five feet deep stretched out across the gate of the palace in 1997 after Princess Diana passed, as the house gave the people a place to mourn her. Many have come in and out of the palace with many still to come. Number 7. Airplane House, Costa Rica The next home seems like the perfect destination for the aviation enthusiast in your life. The ultra-unique airplane house in Costa Rica had a previous life as a high-flying 727 aircraft. However, like most of us hope to, this particular plane retired to a life of sun in the islands. Since being decommissioned, it was turned into a two-bedroom home with amazing ocean lush tropical rainforest views. This plane home sits in trees 50 feet above the ground, so you can still get the impression of being high in the air. Boasting all of the amenities you'd find in a typical modern home, the famous airplane house's wings have been turned into balconies. Imagine walking onto the wing for your morning coffee and listening to the monkeys and any one of the almost 200 varieties of tropical birds greeting you in the morning. This house seems like it would be worth a flight to Costa Rica. Number 6. Chateau Louis XIV, France Let's jump the river from England to France and go to one of the most expensive castles in the country. This beauty dates back to the 17th century and was acquired by the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman with a fortune of $10 billion. The chateau is worth $300 million and has recently received an upgrade into the 21st century. Fountains can now be controlled by iPhones. Guests and family can enjoy a movie in the private cinema or even take a turn through a maze. Overall, the property is 57 acres, and even though the structure is built over the remains of the old castle, it still holds grandeur worthy of royalty. But if you think this is a mansion, wait till you see number three. Number five, the Flintstones House, California. Nestled in Hillsborough, California is the unique Flintstones House, which was inspired in part by the cartoon show of the same name. Designed by architect William Nicholson and built in 1976, it's safe to say there is almost no way to miss this house when you drive by. The 2,700-square-foot house includes three bedrooms, one of which is at the top of the staircase, inspired by an ice cream cone. Ever since it was built, the house has caused strong opinions. Some love it, and some don't. The house is so unpopular with neighbors that it actually inspired the formation of a local architectural review board. However, the current owner, Florence Fang, who once owned the San Francisco Examiner, has made it clear she's in for the long haul. I guess not everyone wants to live next to a modern Stone Age family. Number 4. Odeon Tower Sky Penthouse, Monaco Looking for somewhere to be like the uber-rich? Monaco is one of the most expensive locations to have a home, let alone a penthouse. It is here you can rub elbows with names like Bill Gates, Lewis Hamilton, or Novak Djokovic. This penthouse found in Monaco is worth $400 million, and a perk of living here is that the city-state is tax-free. The home is 16 meters high with a direct slide into a rooftop pool overlooking the waters of the Mediterranean Sea. Number 3. Rafiq Harari's London Mansion, United Kingdom Traveling back to England, we have a home that is more expensive than our number seven on the list. The cost for the home is $400 million, and it was once owned by late Lebanese Prime Minister Rafiq Harari. He later gifted it to Sultan bin Abdulaziz, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. It was listed with Chinese businessman Chung Chung Kyu in the process of purchasing it for between £205 million and £210 million. He would be looking at getting a home with 45 bedrooms over the course of 60,000 square feet. We can't forget the swimming pool, a kitchen worthy of a catering company, and even its own underground garage. Having a home this size will be a very good investment for Chung Chung Q. Number 2. Villa Les Cedres, France As you will have noticed so far, there are several locations listed that are more than a few years old. Villa Les Cedres in the south of France is 187 years old, having first been built by King Leopold II of Belgium, thanks to his profits from land grabs and slaves. The interior reflected the taste of Queen Marie Antoinette and runs at a value of $410 million. The home is 18,000 square feet and has 14 bedrooms reflecting French style from the chandeliers to the statues. One can even feel like they are in the jungle if they go out to the garden where palm trees and cedars root. The gardens are amazing, and if looking to purchase the property, one may be leery since some believe that the whole property was built using blood money from slaves. But wait until you catch sight of number one. Number 1. Villa Leopolda, French Riviera Built over the course of two years from 1929 to 1931, the house was created by American architect Ogden Codman, Jr. Due to outlandish spending, he couldn't afford to live within the walls. 
Instead, he rented it out to those with money, and over the years it ended up in the hands of Edmund and Lily Safra in 1987. Lavish parties were held, with so many guests interested that one part could be held on Saturday and another on Monday. Lily continues to own the home that has been featured in a few films over the years, The Red Shoes in 1948 and Alfred Hitchcock's To Catch a Thief in 1955. It is amazing to see the history of ownership of this $736 million home, beginning with the state ownership of King Leopold II of Belgium. Well guys, that's it for this video. Click the links above to check out some of our other videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. We have many great videos coming up. See you in the next video.